Hello, today I want to tell you about a powerful new feature found within Pinnacle Cart called Drift Marketing. Essentially what Drift Marketing does is it sends out a series of emails to customers potentially providing them an incentive for them to come back and complete a cart that they have abandoned or they have left items in. First thing I want to do is take you to one of our blog postings that I think does a really good job of visually representing how Drift Marketing works. So a customer comes to your store and starts adding items to your cart. For whatever reason, they become distracted, whether they want a comparison shop, whether there's kids in the background, whatever it may be, they end up abandoning the cart and closing down their browser. At that point in time, the drift marketing feature will start kicking in. And what it's going to do, depending on the way that you set it up, it's going to start sending out a series of emails to that customer, potentially providing in a, a discount or an incentive for them to come back and complete that abandoned cart. So now that we have an idea of how drift marketing or what drift marketing is, what I want to do is, is show you how you get in the back of the application and set that up. So here we are in the back of the Pinnacle Card Administration area. What you're going to want to do is go to the Marketing tab and you're going to want to select the Drift Marketing Campaign link. So here, the first screen that comes up is we're going to have to set up a campaign. And of course, we can set up a number of these campaigns. So for this one, I'm just going to call it Testing. Um, and now I'm going to select how often or when I want that this particular email to be sent out. Uh, so I can send out it immediately, 15 minutes after that cart goes abandoned, an hour after it goes abandoned, whatever it may be. I already have a couple set up here, so I'm going to set this one up for five days after. Um, I can then create a, an email subject. Tell them to come on back. Of course, you might want to use something with a little bit more marketing punch. And then you can start to see the content that's going to be in the email. If you look here, you can see there's both email or HTML and, and text email content. Um, you can visually change this. You can add text to it, do whatever you want to do. Um, the promotional messages are all up to you. What is important is that you have a couple things always in these emails. And we have them listed up here. Uh, this particular variable needs to be listed in it to ensure that all the items within that abandoned cart are showing back to the customer and also that the cart link is provided to the customer so they can click on it and go back and complete the order. Now I know a lot of you want these emails um, to come out to look kind of uh, enticing and, and look very professional so one of the options you can do is go into Google and type in free email templates and you're potentially going to get something like this select whatever email template you want to use pick up the HTML wrap it around here remember to keep these two things here uh, and then go ahead and save it and you should get a nice professionally looking a professional looking email sent out to the customer uh, another place that I like to go to to get those uh, is a place called emailtemplates.org which you can see some really visually stunning email templates. Um, again, all you need to do is pick up the HTML, drop it into that blank, make sure you keep those two variables, and it, it should work perfectly. Now, one of the things you can do is you can set these up, again, as we talked about, at different intervals. So, first one I want sent out 24 hours, the second one I want sent out an hour later, and the third one I could have be a promotional campaign email. To do this, what you want to do, which I think is, is very um, is something that you probably should look into doing and think about doing, is you can create a promo code within the back of Pinnacle Card and go ahead and put that promo code in one of these emails. For example, 10% off your entire store. Now, you don't want to have this running all the time because people may start getting used to the fact that this 10% is always going to come in 48 or 72 hours later. But it's not a bad idea to have one of these running every once in a while. So once you go ahead and generate that promotional code, what you can do is, is come in here and go ahead and edit this email, put in the promotional code wherever you want to add it, put in some text, and then add in the promo code. This email will be sent off to them at the designated time interval. They'll be able to put in the promo code. When they click on that link, they're going to see all the items in their cart. They can put in that promo code, complete checkout, and uh, they will get the 10% off. This is a great way to decrease cart abandonment. As we know, cart abandonment rates are, are sky high, sometimes up to 60% in some carts. This is just another way that we provide you features to decrease that cart abandonment. If you have any questions, by all means, contact our support team. And I thank you for your time today.